Yo, what is going on guys? It's your boy Last Chance FPS, or you guys can call me by my name Chance, and welcome back to part 8 of my Minecraft Let's Play. Now in today's episode, boys, I have something very, very awesome that I wanted to showcase for you guys, and obviously going off of the title of the video, I am going to be showing you guys some resource packs that you guys could add to your game Minecraft right now that will drastically change the visuals of your game and making it look as realistic as ever. So what kind of sparked the idea of today's video is I saw the new GeForce RTX kind of like trailer announcement video, whatever you want to call it, and they were actually showcasing Minecraft specifically and just watching the gameplay footage in that video, just showing all of like the ray tracing from like the sun and the moon and the shadows. It was overall making the game look way more realistic than we've known and loved for 10 years plus now. It just made me think how how awesome graphics have come along in the first place, but as well as also just getting a better perspective of what playing Minecraft would be with such realistic graphics than the traditional kind of like box and cube forms that we've known and been kind of used to for a very long time now. So what I went ahead and did was for a couple hours, I downloaded a bunch of texture packs and shader packs and basically just experimented with which ones I felt worked best. And I also have haven't seen that, that many other videos out there of people actually explaining why one shader pack might be better than the other or what texture packs are best for what situations. All the little details and settings and just optimizations you guys can make in your game that will actually make it more practical to even use in the first place. Because let me tell you guys, running a shader and a texture pack at the same time is extremely taxing on your computer. So unless you have a really expensive computer or high and PC like I do, I honestly might not recommend this because your frames is going to take a massive hit. And I will also obviously showcase to you guys what my current situation is and more or less what you guys should probably expect if you guys decide to do this yourself. So guys, with all of that stuff being said, let's hop into the resource packs that I've been hyping up so far in today's video, boys. So first off, the texture pack that I've picked out. The texture pack that I've picked out is going to be the three D default texture pack. Now, the reason I love this texture pack so much is that it doesn't drastically change the graphics too much of the game in terms of the blocks and whatnot. Pretty much all it does is it adds kind of like an extra layering to every single block. It kind of, again, gives off a better three-dimensional versions of the game. So, like I said, it doesn't change the game visuals too much that we've been used to playing Minecraft for all this time, but it does change it enough to where it kind of gives off a different perspective when looking at it. Let's load this up and look Let's see what I've been talking about. All right, boys. So here is the 3D default texture pack. And as you guys could see, you guys can already probably tell the difference between the blocks without and with the texture pack. It's gonna add, like I said, that little extra layering to all the blocks with like the fencing, the cobblestone, just overall, all of the blocks have been added a little bit in terms of texturing. If we head inside, I think that's probably one of my favorite visual changes is if you guys come over to like the furnace and whatnot, it will have the little flaps peeking out on the bottom. And that's what I mean, dude. Like the 3D layering with this texture pack is just on another level. Again, with the ladders, it just sticks out so much more than kind of the flat kind of bland look that we've been used to. And if we head downstairs into my enchantment room, even the bookshelves have been changed a little bit. Like some of them are full of books. Some have none books. Some have half shelves of books. It's just the little things or the attention to detail just make me so much interested in this texture pack. I mean, hell, even if we look at the, some of the stuff in my inventory, the sword has an extra layering. I have a bowl instead of the traditional flat bucket that we're used to. I'm just telling you guys right now, the 3D texture pack is absolutely amazing. If we head outside, obviously the grass is going to be a little bit different. Sometimes it'll sway in the wind, which is a nice addition. It's just the little things in this texture pack that I just cannot speak highly enough. And I don't think I could recommend an even better texture pack for you guys. So I highly recommend you 
you guys check it out for yourselves. So now that we have the texture pack out of the way, the next addition that I'm going to be changing in my game is going to be the shaders. Now, for any of you guys that don't know, the shaders is going to be the bread and butter of this video, guys. This is what's going to drastically change the visuals of my game so much that you guys will probably question if you're even watching me play Minecraft or not. The shaders mod that I've selected is going to be the Silders Vibrant Shaders mod. Now, I will go into more depth in terms of the settings and what I recommend, what you guys should enable, not enable, what things you guys can do to actually have the game perform better with all this stuff enabled. I will also say up front, you have to have Optifine downloaded and running for your game. That is what's going to allow you to actually run these mods or kind of like texture packs in the first place. I will also have all of these download links down in the description down below if you guys need that as well, as well as also a article that will give you guys better insight in terms of what you guys could change in your settings to make this run more smooth for your game. But with all this stuff being said, I'm going to go ahead and click this guy and boot him up and let's see what we get. And here we go, boys. The shaders resource pack. Boys, like I said, this is literally turning Minecraft into a completely different game. And you know what? Just so I show you guys in depth of all of the awesome stuff that this shaders pack is going to offer for you guys, I'm going to actually cheat. I'm going to go ahead and go into, let's see, let's go into spectator mode and just admire how beautiful that this shaders pack is going to turn your game. I mean, look at the grass. Like the grass is beautiful. It's swaying in the wind. If we come over to the water, which is probably my favorite part of the shaders pack, is it literally turns the water into realistic wavy water with really clear reflections. I mean, even if we come over to the torched area, I mean, it just gives off more like this gloomy glow to it than the traditional kind of torches did. And I don't know, man, like it just gives off such a different perspective when looking at this visually and whatnot. Obviously, the moon is gonna be a little bit different. I love the beautiful starry nights that come up every night. If we also change it to daytime, which I like as well, the sunrise coming up with the ray tracing with the sunlight and whatnot. I wonder if we could get a nice little gleam right here. Yep, you guys could see that. Kind of the gleams of the sun poking over objects is such a nice added touch. Also, what I like is the nice realistic clouds in the sky as well. It just looks so much better than kind of like the blocky clouds we're used to and whatnot. The Silders resource pack actually does a really good job in terms of having more vibrant light. Some of the other resource packs that I've seen are a little bit dull, especially at nighttime. Like they're just really, really bland and dark and it's really hard to see and whatnot. But with the Silders resource pack, I just feel like it does a really good good job. Now, like I was saying earlier, traditionally when I'm playing the game, I get anywhere from about 250 to 300 frames per second. But when I am running these two packs at the same time, even with a good computer like mine, I still only get about 30 to 40 frames, which by no means is good, but it's still good enough to where the game looks visually great. And I don't really feel like my game's too laggy, even with like sun movements and whatnot. Now, the reason I chose this texture pack as well as this shaders pack is not only because they look visually the best, but they actually function properly. So a couple things that I actually noticed when kind of messing around with a bunch of other like shader packs and whatnot is some of them are just really buggy in general and don't work in other dimensions. So for instance, a couple things that I noticed right off the bat is that some of the shader packs don't work really good when you're holding like enchanted items like tools and whatnot. The glowiness of the item is pixelated. It's kind of like fluctuating. It just looks very, very bad. Another thing that didn't look good in my opinion was if you go into the other dimensions like the nether or the end it just looked so bad in terms of the lighting for instance if you went in the nether normally it is a darker or gloomy look but some of the resource packs made the lava so bright that you could barely see and some of the shadows from being in that dark of a dimension was so dark that you literally could not see five blocks in front of you it was just flat out unplayable I mean, how can you guys just not love how beautiful this looks? Like, there's literally nothing that can top this. If we head off into the nether, guys, this is just gonna be another kind of like idea of what this texture pack and whatnot is gonna offer. I mean, the nether just looks so dark and gloomy and just even this nice little attention to detail, adding bones onto some of the netherrack is just such 
a nice added touch. I just love what these two resource packs bring to the table, man. What I also love about these shaders packs is that they have a bunch of different options and settings that you guys could change. So it's gonna have all of these main settings, but if you also come to the bottom right with the shaders options, it is gonna have a plethora of different options. And really the only one that I kind of made sure was that I had motion blur off because I'm not really a huge fan of that. So yeah, guys, that's pretty much everything I wanted to talk to you guys about. Like I said, I will have all of the shader packs and texture pack and articles and whatnot linked down the description down below if you guys want to check them out for yourselves as well as the other parts in my minecraft series but i also wanted to show you guys some other changes that i've made to my world as well as us also exploring a mine shaft that i found while using these new textures so let's go ahead and check that stuff out so heading into where my XP farm is, obviously this has been going along great. I mean, I've been getting a bunch of XP from this for enchanting my whatnot, but also underneath, I turned this area into a cow farm as well as a pig farm. And I've been growing these guys a lot. The only reason I've been growing these cows and pigs is because I like to have the leather for like books and whatnot from the cows as well as the pork chop from the pigs is actually a really good source of food. And don't even get me started on how much of a pain in the ass it was just to get these animals down there. So another thing I wanted to do in today's episode, like I said, is I wanted to explore another mine shaft that I found. This is like literally the fourth or fifth one that I found in my world, but I'm, I have a pretty good feeling that there might be some pretty cool treasure from like chests and whatnot down there. Maybe even some diamonds if I'm lucky. But yeah, guys, I said, hey, let's use this opportunity in this video to kind of explore that and to give you guys a better idea of what it would look like when underground and mining and exploring with these new textures and whatnot. So so let me get on over there and let's see what we could find. I mean, hell, just even look at these ores, dude. Like they literally pop off the block visually. Like that's just so cool, man. Nice. Alrighty, boys. So we finally made it to the abandoned mine shaft and it is just so dark and gloomy. So let's throw some lighting up in here and hopefully let's find some like diamonds or just some random chests around with some like really good loot and whatnot. Seeing everything kind of like three dimensional in this game is just such a weird visual look that honestly, I'm not even used to it, even though I've been using these resource packs for like a couple hours now. So Honestly, I don't know if you guys are going to be feeling the same way if you guys go try us out for yourself. But like I've been saying, I just think it's such a cool kind of like change of pace from what I'm used to since I've been playing this game for such a long time now. Looks like we got a chest over here. So I'm going to kill all these skeletons. There might be a mob spawner around here if I had to guess. I mean, just kind of gain an idea of what's around here more or less. And we're also in a hills bound because there's a couple emeralds around here which is pretty nice as well I'll definitely take that all right let's see what this first chest has to offer a couple rails some name tags i really don't need the redstone but i guess i'll take it there's a second mine cart let's see what this guy has to offer more rails Ooh, a golden apple pretty nice i will definitely take that as well god even the cobwebs look cool man like i swear to god the more and more i play this game using these resource packs the more and more i'm enjoying myself while using these uh oh we found our first creepers we found our first creepers. Wow, there's like five of them. What the hell is going on over here, dude? Why are there so many creepers down here, bro? I actually am kind of scared with how many creepers are down here right now. Luckily, I am a warrior with my enchanted sword, so I took them out. No problem, boys. Skeleton, it is time for you to die. No one likes you, buddy. We're actually doing pretty good regarding the chest. And ooh, okay, we got an enchanted book, more rails, more redstone. I will definitely take all of that. Also, look how cool the visuals are for the armor and whatnot in your display options. Like, that's just such a nice added touch. I didn't even really notice that. That's the first time you've seen that. Skeleton, you're pretty close to that fire. It'd be a shame if someone knocked you in there. <laughs> Get wrecked, fool. I'm low-key getting lost down here. Like, there's so many different corridors that you could go down. Like, this is actually way bigger than I thought it would be. No cap. Hey, another chest. Let's go, boys. Let's open this up. Ooh, we got some gold. More tracks. I will definitely take all of this. Uh-oh, boys. I think we have come across a poison spider mob. Spawner. Let's break that. Oh, boy. Ah, uh, he got me. Die, bro. No one likes you. Oh, what's up, zombie? Yeah, uh, stuck in the webbing. That is unfortunate. Uh oh, boys! I just realized I just ran out of torches. I have no more torches down here. That is not good at all. 
That's actually really unfortunate because there's still like a number of caves down here that I've yet to explore. But considering that I don't have any more torches, I just can't risk it down here. So I think I'm just gonna have to head back to home. And just like that, boys, we are back home and there is no better feeling than having a successful adventure down in the mine shafts and making it back home alive to tell the tale and to put away all of our goodies that we've earned. Because like I said, we definitely got a good amount of stuff from going down there. It's actually crazy how realistic this water works with the shaders mod that it just blows my mind how far this game has come graphically and what you are just flat out able to do in this game now because I would have never thought in a million years that you could turn a block world into something this realistic. Seeing this beautiful sun come up over the meadows and just raining down its beautiful sun rays into this awesome meadow where my house is it's just breathtaking man all right guys so i think that's going to conclude today's episode i just wanted to show off these really awesome resource packs that i've stumbled upon and what i've added into my game how you guys can add them yourself all the little tips and tricks and things i think you guys should know as well getting into it as well as all the download links like i said earlier should be down below in the description if you guys want to check this out for yourselves so yeah guys like i said i hope this video helped you guys out i hope you guys enjoyed it today Today's episode with all these cool different texture packs and whatnot and if you guys enjoyed part eight of today's minecraft let's play you guys already know what to do like this video if you guys enjoyed as well as commenting down below your guys thoughts as videos and other recommendations you guys have for this series click that subscribe button and turn on bell notifications so you guys never miss a future video here on my channel i will have all of my other social medias and whatnot linked down in the description down below if you guys haven't already followed me on those and until next time i will catch you you guys in the next video.